Well, a lot has happened for Burlington's own Harmon Ease since we last caught up with them at their House of Ease in Burlington. They are, in fact, releasing a new album this week. I spoke with the guys earlier today to find out what they've been up to since we first chatted two years ago. We've been writing and creating lots of music. Um, we've been, like this last year, on stage again and stuff, which has been super great. And um, just really being in this creative flow and been writing a lot and learning how to edit more and create more content on social media. We've really focused on that. So it's been a really creative couple of years. And with that creativity, you guys have been churning out some pretty popular stuff. You you hit the top 10 billboard mainstream rock with Cut Me Loose. You, you know, you went viral on TikTok. How did that feel? Yeah, well, Cut Me Loose, uh, we went to Trinity Bellwoods here in Toronto. We were playing, we were just playing for people, you know, just trying to get our name out there the old fashioned way, just playing songs uh, with acoustic guitars and uh, cajon. And uh, we just posted this video, of just the chorus of Cut Me Loose, and it took off like everywhere. It started being used by so many people all over the world, right? And uh, yeah, suddenly just jump started everything, and suddenly the song is charting alongside bands that we've grown up listening to, you know, bands like the, we were charting at the same time as the Red Hot Chili Peppers and the Foo Fighters, for example. So that's, that's got to feel pretty amazing. Yeah, it's been very thrilling to, to elevate the band to that stature. Yeah. And you guys have always had pretty cool videos, but now you've got some videos with some really fun, like cartoons and, and tell me about that. The videos, for example, all our animations and stuff like that, we are working with uh, our our editor in Argentina, who's a friend of ours from when we were living there. And uh, his name is Facundo Mancilla. He's amazing. If you guys need any animations, you can reach out to him. <laughs> um, and then we've worked with some really cool directors and, um, and people here as well in Canada. You know, as musicians, we've been focusing on our music forever. So it's now it's cool to team up with people who care as much, uh, like as much as we do about our music, their craft, and, and team up and create these really cool visual arts and stuff. So. Yeah, I, I love music videos actually. We have a video coming out really soon for the new album as well that we're really excited about. So, and we filmed it all here and it got edited in, in Argentina as well. But yeah, so yeah, we're, we're usually working with people from Argentina as much as we can. I remember you said last time we chatted that you sort of feel, even though you're from here, you're trying to sort of represent some of, of that culture as well. So that's really cool that you've managed to, to bring that along with you. You guys also teamed up with Fifi Dobson recently. What was that like to bring a female voice into your sound? That was, a, that was awesome because I think when we recorded the song, we knew we we knew we wanted some like women vocals in, in, in the song. Um, and so we, we told our manager that we were thinking it would be really cool to have a, a female sing on the song. And um, just serendipitously like he was he was talking to Fifi at the same time doing some other work with her and he asked like hey how would you guys feel about Fifi Dobson playing on the track and it was just we we're like yeah that's sick like she's she's huge you know um, even like it just it was kind of surreal because uh, when I was growing up my sister used to listen to Fifi so it's like I, I was accustomed to her voice I've heard it all the time so it was, it was just a, it happened like really smoothly. So Camino Loco is coming out on Friday and you've got I listened to it it's awesome you've got that nice balance of the harm and the ease again and uh i was giggling to myself a little bit about the animations between lemonade and uh, cut me loose and i was like oh they've even done it in animation like here's the happy little fruit and here's the very you know gritty bar scene so <laughs> definitely tell me about the album was there anything that was really you know, revolutionary for you? Or what's, what are you most proud of? So Camino Loco um, is basically like the baby that was born from these last two years. And it's almost like everything, <laughs> like us coming to Canada. And, you know, when, when you, you met us and you came to the Burlington house, that was the, the beginning of us starting to start writing and like really take in Canadian culture and pop culture here and understand what's on the radio and stuff like that, which is something we were not familiar with. So this is our first like take on like a proper production and like a proper album that we've done here in North America. And um, yeah, so Come Me Loose is on there and which is our, like we said, one of our, our biggest song, right? And it's done so, so much for us. And uh, 
There's a collab with a song called Underground that's also streaming extremely well. And it's a collab with an Argentine band called CMS, who were there in the beginning of our career as well. And uh, always supported us and stuff. So we have a tie with them there. And we're trying to stay true to our roots, but also bring something that's refreshing and new and can represent rock in 2022, right? Awesome. Well, thanks so much for speaking with me, guys. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hope you, uh, everybody enjoys the album. I know you already heard it, so. <laughs>